What happens when lubricants aren't managed effectively? Mining is one of the largest lubricant consuming industries in the world. They provide employment for vast amounts of people and need to ensure that each aspect of their operation is taken care of. Safety and efficiency have catastrophic consequences if not maintained. Equipment downtime is a massive expense as maintenance costs for a single truck can amount to over 5.5 million rand annually. But more than this, equipment failures can cause injury and the highest cost of all, human life. Lubricants are as critical to equipment as blood is to the human body, so making sure lubricants are managed effectively is not something on which to compromise. Underground mines require thousands of people working in hot conditions. Keeping the temperature down requires massive air cooling and ventilation systems. If these systems fail, temperatures rise and working conditions become too dangerous. When a compressor unit in the system failed, a gold mine had no choice but to shut down. The wrong compressor oil was ordered and used costing the mine time and money, but thankfully no injuries or lives were lost this time round. So how did this happen? Lubricant identification is decided by oil companies who use branding tactics to differentiate themselves. Words like Quartz 5000 and Helix HX5 are used to create brand appeal, but say nothing about the product itself. Wading through options of something as simple as a 15W40 diesel engine oil can be overwhelming, and carrying out comparisons requires knowing where to start. At a closer look, and with the correct technical knowledge, you can begin assessing each product based on specification and comparing like with like, but this requires select expertise and is time consuming work. Brand names also mean that every time an operation switches suppliers, they add to their data with new material codes and line items. This reduces their efficiency and increases their risk of harboring redundant stock and using the wrong product. When a supplier rebranded their lubricant line, the old name for the compressor oil was used for a new, different product. The mine placed the order using that name without having any way of knowing that the product they were ordering was no longer of the same specification. Endless lists of material items meant this error passed through each division of the operation from procurement all the way to maintenance without being picked up, resulting in the compressor unit failure and millions lost due to repair costs and downtime. But what if this didn't have to be the case? The industrial standard lubrication system solves this problem holistically, disruptively and effectively. It is a lubricant standardization coding system built by experts. The ISLS is built on lubricant specifications to ensure that the application of a lubricant is the primary consideration. Each compartment of equipment can be linked to the code of the lubricant it uses, meaning stable data, easy inventory and peace of mind that the right product is chosen for its application. Using lubricant specifications in the identification and listing of products and matching these specs to each compartment of equipment means there's never any confusion surrounding getting the right oil to the right place. Specifications don't change, even if brand names do. And because the ISLS uses a consistent identification method from procurement to the on the ground application, you can be assured of painless comparisons, optimized data, no need for remastering, well-managed inventory and a guarantee that you get the right lubricant every time.